All right. Jade is another newer band, uh, one that formed, I, I suppose, somewhere around 2018. I don't know much about the group. Uh, Jade is a German uh, slash Spanish death metal band. Uh, and this is their debut album after they released a demo in 2018. Uh, I would describe their style as atmospheric death metal or death doom metal uh, with a couple of caveats. The, uh, there's a little bit of um, clean vocals like you might have found on earlier Bolzer. These are much more, more shouted rather than hummed, if that makes sense. Um, these are long involved sort of death doom metal songs that are now they're faster paced. Uh, in a way where you'll find me comparing parts of this record less to like early Tiamat and more to like Balmog and Imhotarikat, those sort of more dramatic black and death metal records uh, nowadays, and a little bit of Ataraxy if you're familiar. I've seen people compare this band to um, like Hooded Menace and Sulfur Aeon. I think Sulfur Aeon might hold up for some people, but uh, Hooded Menace makes sense uh, on a few of these songs. But how can you describe exactly what this record is beyond all those references? I would be inclined to suggest that it is more related to the sort of psychedelic post-metal influence side of things. Uh, obviously not sledge metal, but uh, the focus on atmosphere is heady, it's spiritual, it's dark, and it's not... Um, it's not your typical sort of incantation-esque, morbid atmosphere, uh, although these are generally dark death metal songs uh, led by uh, heavily melodic lead guitars, which very much carry this record in a profound way. It's a very memorable record, and I see this is kind of where the Hooded Menace uh, comparisons make sense, is because the, the lead melodies are the major actor here. And the rest is, uh, even the, the clean vocals, they're sort of shouted up a chasm in the sense that they're dramatic, full-chested shouts that are declarative. And uh, this becomes a little bit repetitive throughout the album because they only use it in a, in a, as sort of a, a enhancement to the rhythm and the uh, cadence of the vocals. And the uh, death metal vocals are... Uh, fighting for directive in a lot of ways. I'm not saying I don't like the effect, but it is a psychedelic effect where there's um, multiple reverb, uh, multiple resonances reverberating throughout this record. And without the lead guitars being the hook in ear, it would all be a little bit chaotic. And I'd probably still like it, honestly, but it helps that the leads um, really carry a lot of these songs into a memorable territory. And uh, even when they do kind of hit upon uh, more readable death doom metal riffs and stuff, stuff like that about midway through the album, it's of a fine quality. And they've really considered this record. Uh, building off of basically what they did on, uh, what was it called, Burning Mirrors or Smoking Mirrors, their first record, uh, which was just a demo. Smoking Mirror, yeah. So I think that... They still have, they could still refine this idea, but I don't think they should change it. And they just shouldn't change the dynamic so quickly because it is so effective. And they really found uh, uh, an intense sort of, uh, what you, I guess, the in, a, in the pocket sort of sound where you really don't want to put down the record for its duration because it is all contiguous and aligned in such a way where, yes, the melodies are carrying you with the guitars, uh, but there, there's this sort of morbid, dark movement to all of it that, that keeps it interesting. And uh, yeah, I just found myself pretty entrenched in this record. And it wasn't, I had to pull back and just be like, well, I, I, I need to criticize this a little bit. Uh, so that should say something about how much I enjoyed it. I do think it is one of the better records of November. And uh, just a finely curated piece in general, I think that it's the sort of record that I, I just instinctively want to pick up. And it turned out that it was really good. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, definitely check that out. I think it's probably a key record for a lot of death metal fans this uh, this uh, November. And uh, there you go.